All right, so I've got an update on Smart Lockup. So last week, um, I showed battle mode with Smart Lockup. Um, I've actually got it pretty well tested out, um, but this is in 4.8. Frederick just put out OS 5, so the plan now is going to be to roll Smart Lockup into OS 5 for alpha and beta testing. Um, and in talking with Frederick, if the testing proves out, we can actually make it so that Smart Lockup is just the default feature, so that there's no more need for a button for lockup. So if you haven't seen the Smart Lockup video yet, um, basically the idea is, instead of, typically if you clash your blades together, you get a clash effect. Um, and then if you wanted to do a lockup effect, you would hold some button um, or a combination of buttons, and then that activates lockup. With the gesture controls now, we're able to actually make it so it's more realistic. So your saber will actually be able to tell if you're clashing or if you're locking up based on the movement of the blade. So um, with Smart Lockup, if you hit somebody's saber and you and you basically pull it away, it's going to do a clash effect. If you hit somebody's saber and then you keep your saber against them relatively still, it's going to do a lockup effect. Um, now there's a couple of things that control that. So we do have clash threshold already in your config. There's going to be a new threshold in addition that will work with that. So the, the clash threshold is what tells the saber to do the clash or lockup to start it. There's going to be a new lockup threshold, and that's going to let you set the sensitivity level for when to end lockup and how to determine if it's a lockup or a clash. Um, so, um, and then in addition, I'm going to roll this into OS5 with two options. I'm going to have it as built out as the battle mode, where you can turn smart lockup on, on and off, or I'm going to do a second file uh, that you can use to test where it's actually all the time. It'll always do smart lockup, so no more new, no more need for a button on lockup. Um, so I've had my son helping me, um, and he's only done a little bit of practice. So the idea is if, if he's able to do this, it's ready for everybody else. Um, so you can turn your saber on. All right, so with smart lockup, if you hit your sabers against each other and you pull them away from each other, it's going to do a clash effect. Um, but if you hit them together and then hold it relatively still after that impact against your opponent, it's going to keep the lockup engaged until you pull away to disengage. And it's meant to be, I've kind of dialed it in so it's a more natural motion. So it's almost as if you were really battling. If you were just blocking somebody's saber attack versus locking up against it, the motion is to kind of get your stance kind of reset. And I'm not a good saber, uh, you know, I'm not great at dueling, but the idea is watching the films and seeing how they work. Usually when they're doing clashes, it's a quick hit and pull away. So that's how this is set up. So we're going to do the clash. It's going to be a hit and pull away. All right. Um, and then we'll do a few of those. All right. So go ahead. So hit and pull away. That's going to do a clash. So again. All right. One more time. So that's your clash effect. And it doesn't have to be overly quick. It's just got to be a motion away from the opponent. That's what basically tells the saber to do clash versus doing the lockup. So this time we're going to hit them together, but we're going to hold them against each other for a period of time. That'll do the lockup. All right, so you're going to hit and hold. And then you can still move it. You can struggle, but now pull away. When you pull away, it disengages lockup. So you can still get your real lockup effect. This still has the response. So I'll show it here. So you still get responsive lockup where it's going to move as you move your saber. It'll actually still do responsive lockup. But just by pulling away from the opponent, it actually turns it off. Um, and it's really, it's not that big of a gesture to actually disengage. It's meant to be, I've, I've dialed it into where it's a pretty natural motion. You do have to practice it if you've never done it, but there's no buttons involved now. So lockup will be based on what you're doing with your saber against your opponent. So we're going to do another lockup. Oops. Good. All right, now take them away. So now you can get a realistic lockup effect, and there's no more worrying about the buttons or missing your button or letting go of your button too early. Um, it's going to react exactly to how you're dueling. So, and you can set it up with your opponent. You can set it up for fun. It's going to be if you clash and pull away, it's a clash effect. If you clash and hold, it's a lockup, and it's going to stay there until you pull away from your opponent. And it's just that pull away motion that actually tells it to, to stop the lockup. So, holding it still after a clash tells it to do lockup, and then taking it away from your opponent tells it to stop the lockup. So used to be the buttons would do that, but now with these gesture controls dialed in like this, no more having to worry about the button presses. 
Um, so it's going to make dueling to me even better. I'm really psyched about this. Um, and like I said, it's going to be, I'm going to get it all documented. Um, and then I'm going to have it uh, added to the OS5 alpha testing and beta testing. Um, and then there's also a style factor to this. So you have to have your styles made a certain way, um, particularly related to lockup, in order to have this work properly. Um, so I have to do a write-up for that. So testing's been great. Right now it's in 4.8. I'm going to move it over to OS5. Um, I'll do a pull request. I'll get the two options in there. And then we'll have this be part of the alpha testing that Frederick's already running for OS5. Um, and like I said, it'll be, I'll, I'll do two options in the alpha testing. I'll do it as battle mode, which is a mode you engage and disengage. Um, and then also just as having smart lockup on all the time. This way we can see how both work. And if, if it works well enough, and if enough people like it, Frederick said we could possibly make smart lockup just the new default. So going forward, OS5 would not need a button to be able to do lockup. It would just be based on that gesture. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm really, uh, the testing's been going great. I've got the, the sensitivities all dialed in really well. Um, and then, like I said, there is a new threshold setting that you can set, because depending on how you do it and also where the, you know, how your saver's built, um, you may have to tweak that lockup threshold um, up or down just to get it to really, you know, to how you use your saver. Um, but the overall control is doing uh, really well. Um, it, it's consistent. I taught my son in... We've done it, you know, we basically practiced for like 10 minutes during prepping for this video, um, and he's able to get it really easily, um, and, uh, you know, neither of us are practicing lightsabers a lot, but it's it's pretty simple once you get the idea of how to do the lockup versus the uh, clash, it works great, so I'm excited, it is coming, it will be part of the OS5 alpha testing, it's not there yet, I have work I have to do, um, I also have to get it in there for, uh, in there with Frederick so everybody can seize it, um, uh, and download it, and then also there's a, I'm going to make some changes to the library so that all the styles just support it by default, um, and I'll do a write-up on the styling um, as well, but uh, I wanted to show everybody, it's working great, it's coming to OS5, you're going to have smart lockup, so no more buttons, your saber is going to be even more realistic, it's going to be more intuitive, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to everybody getting a hold of it, and hope you enjoy, thanks.